Okay, so we got all these devices installed. Uh, there's a couple configuration I would like to do. Um, start off by showing you guys the diagram. So I want to make sure that the Windows, the Ubuntu, Elk Stack, the Linux, the Kali, and the Ubuntu are in its own isolated um, LAN network. And then it will pass through to where the sensor, uh, the OSSIM sensor and the server and the firewall configuration are in that network before going to my router and out to the ISPs. So we're gonna configure these three, make sure that um, they're in that network, make sure they're in that network here and everything else Everything else will be on its own. And then I want to aggregate the logs uh, from PFSense to go into the OSI, OSSIM server where we're collecting the data, uh, looking at it on Alien Bolt. So, this case, so PFSense, we want to check the settings. And we want to make sure that it is, uh, the first one is on that network. So it could go out to the internet while the second one is coming back to the internal network on LAN one. All you gotta do is choose internal network and you can change this to, um, whichever one you want. And once you hit okay, it will create it in here. So I want to make sure it's on LAN 1, and that is good there. The OSSIM server, I want to make sure that that is in a NAT network. Uh, no adapter 2, because uh, it's just in the NAT network. And the sensor will also be... And that, right? So let's start up. Give us, and it looks like the uh, OSSIM sensor uh, network. It looks like I put uh, the internal network to scan on the internal, and the adapter two would be the NAT network. And going back to the diagram. The sensor is in between these two, so it will sense all the data through here. Um, but that might change a little bit later. So just gonna hit okay. And we're gonna start up these three server. Uh we believe all these. Um so we start up these three here and we can open the Kali Linux or any other one that you would like to open up. So PFSense or firewall. All right. Here's a sensor, here's a server. Here's Kelly right here. Go ahead and log in. And here's our firewall. So it's gonna have two uh, network here. If we go back to look at the PFSense and the setting on the network. So adapter one be the ETH zero, which is uh, the one that go out to the internet. And to isolate our network, we're gonna put into the internal, which is the 10.0.3 
that 124 here. So that's why there's two uh, network adapter there. So as the sensor's up here, go ahead and log into your sensor. And we're waiting for the server to come up. So to get to the settings, Okay, here's our server. Go ahead and log in. Uh, you just don't see it because it's over here. So again, we're on the 10.0.260. That's the NAT network. That's the one that um, goes out to the internet. So this here is a 10.0.2, uh, and this one is the 10.0.3. So this is the internal. Okay, so once we get that, we can open up uh, Firefox. And we're going to type in the IP address for the firewall because um, we want to go do the setting for it. 10.0.2.30. And make sure you remember your login and log on in. You see we made a connection and reported. And as you can see over here on the right, there's a message saying that there's a login successful from here. Uh, into the PF Sense. Uh, that's because I set it up that way. I want to help you guys set it up. So, so I'm just, we don't need these other three for right now. So I'm going to make this big. So, a few things we have to do uh, on this firewall configuration. Currently, uh, if you haven't, uh, you go to interface assignments and you see the EM0 and EM1. If you don't have this, there's a green plus here that you can add and then you can save. That way you have the two that populates, populates uh, up here when you log in. Then before we do anything, uh, so you don't get locked out, you, know, you need to add some rules. So firewall rules. When you do have this, this is the WAN, which is the, the way uh, to go to the internet. And here's the LAN, which is our internal. You won't have anything but this first one, which is the block um, Ogon network. This is by default, uh, it's there. You can't remove it, just leave it. Uh, firewall configuration read from top down. So whatever is on top will re be read first to the next rule to the next rule. So there's a few things you can do here. Uh, the way I did it was I first added the interface, uh, the WAN and the LAN, make sure both are there. Went over to firewall and we're going to go under aliases and the internal host. So what I did was anything, any machine that I will um, add on to this LAN right here. So we got one, two, three, four, five. Uh, the IP address will start with, I'm gonna open a terminal. We do the IPA. This is on the internal, so anything that will start will be 10.0.25. Let's just uh, check the network. So this is on that. So I need to switch this out, which uh, which is just go here, do internal, uh, make sure you're on LAN one. Go hit OK. Network is going to lose. And then it's going to pick up a new one and come right back in. So IPA. So to get a new IP address, you do sudo 
uh, DHC, DHCP client dash R to remove. And then you're going to do a sudo DHCP client without the R and you're going to add a new IP address. Now if we look, this was 10.0.2.25. Now it's 10.0.326. Just go back and check the virtual box. There's a Kali. Open the settings, network, and right now we're on a NAT. Uh, it's our internal network. So we are good there. So now that we have refresh here, we should still be able to be on the same page. We're unable to connect. So let's do a quick ping. So we're going to ping Google. And we got nothing. So it's all internal. Uh, none has um, uh, the firewall rules preventing it to go into the internet as before in our diagram. So it's all just locked here. It has not connected through here and out to the network. So again, cancel this IPA. Okay, this is the old one, this is the new one. We technically, we can still connect to I think we should still be able to connect to this. And we're not able to. Um, okay, so let's just, um, let's go back to the NAT network here. Give it a few seconds. There you go. So we're back on uh, the 10.0.2 network. Um, again, let's just uh, make sure we get this uh, fixed before we go to the other network. So uh, we got our interfaces set up here. Uh, we're going to go firewall and we're going to do aliases. And you can see here, I added all the IP address on the 10.0.3 network here. So you won't get any of this. So what you're going to do is you're going to create new. And you're going to call this um, internal network or uh, 10.0.3, however you want to do it. And then the host here. On the IP address here, the type is the host, and you want to type 10.0. Whichever one is on your local internal 10.3.1 slash 24 network. And when you hit save, it created all of this in that network. So the dash 24 will give you all everything that's in the uh, 10.0.3 network. But since I already saved it, make sure you hit apply change. I'm just going to delete this because I already have mine here. So once you have your alias set up, we're going to look at the rules and let's just check on our local LAN. So there's a couple things that you have to do here. Uh, it'll be, you, you will create add. So when you click one on the left, it's add to the top, and this is add to the bottom. So you get add to the top. And one thing you want to do, uh, this is very unsecure. You should not do this, but in this lab, this is what we're going to do. Uh, the actions, we're going to pass it. We won't block or reject, but we will pass the information forward. Which interface? We're going to deal with the LAN interface, and we're dealing with the IPv4 address. 
uh, protocol will be any, so any TCP, any ICMP, so any protocol. Uh, the source will be any, so it could come from the WAN, it could come from network, it could come from LAN, some any source uh, to a destination will be any. So this is an any any rule which should not be enforced in any uh, firewall configuration. But in this case, we're just enforcing it now. Um, okay, so after you're done getting that, you're gonna hit save. Uh, and here's the internal host. So this one here will be on the local LAN, IPv4. Uh, we're doing TCP. Um, and then when you choose the host, you're gonna just over here type it, whatever you name your aliases. Mine was internal. So when you start typing it, it's gonna populate so you can choose that. And that's with all the IP address that was set up. Uh, to the destination, we're gonna select any destination, any ports, and then we're just gonna save. Uh, this next one here, uh, on the low, um, we're going to pass from the LAN network, IPv4, any, and any source, any destination. So first we did the TCP, but you can add any. And then uh, this one here, uh, this is to send the log from PFSense to OSSIM server. Uh, we get to that in a little bit. And once you get that done, you'll hit by changes. And then on the WAN, uh, this is going out to the network, so, or receiving. So you will want to have, you want to pass the WAN, the, which is the interface we're working on, the WAN now. Uh, IPv4, any, the host would be, uh, the source would be the uh, single host or the internal host, which is all the IP address in that network and it will go out to any destination. And then you're gonna apply the changes. And then we're just gonna pop open, uh, let's just call it a Ubuntu here. Uh, this one here, we're gonna check the settings. And this is on the internal, no second adapter. So this is on the internal. I'm just gonna start this up. And this is the Ubuntu here. It's on the LAN. Uh, currently, this Kali Linux is in the NAT network. So we could configure the firewall configuration. And we're going to take the Ubuntu here and we're going to do a test. Uh, the reason why this didn't work earlier is because uh, when I configure the firewall rules here, um, it didn't take into effect when I got the new IP address. So, waiting for the Ubuntu to open up. Go ahead and log in. And first thing you do, we're going to check to make sure that we have an IP address. So, so we're going to do IP A. And you can see it's 10.0.3.10. Now we're going to open the browser. And we're going to see if we can go to the internet. So we're just going to go google.com. And we're able to go to to google.com because of in the LAN, we allow all these IP address to be able to receive anything or send anything out to the network. So, and then here's the WAN, this is going out, okay. So you, since we got configured uh, everything that was internal to go out to the network, and so, so this Ubuntu is going up through here on the NAT network, through the firewall configuration, out to the router, and out to the internet. So that means we're good there. Now, I want to send this PSC 
uh, the logs into the SSM server. And to do that, this is where anything on the local LAN right here, uh, anything with logs deals with um, UDP. So you're going to create a new one and you're going to pass anything on the LAN, IPv4, that's UDP. The source will be anything on the LAN address. So all that IP address on that address uh, will be sent UDP and the destination will be single host. And this here will be your OSSIM server IP address. So if I open the server here, so this is the server. Go back. So we make this a little bit bigger. So as you can see here, down the bottom, the IP address, this is 10.0.2.60. And that's why I put it here. And UG system log is on port 514. So that's what you want to do is put it on port 514 with your server IP address, whatever it is that you created. Uh, okay, and then you can add a description. I said log to OSIM. Okay, and then we're going to hit save. So once you have that going out, make sure you hit apply changes. Okay, so we're good there. And there's also one more thing that we have to do is uh, in the NAT. In the NAT, we're going forward this uh, sys uh, system information log into the OSIM. So when we all create a new one, again, I'm gonna go back, we go firewall, we go NAT. You, there won't be nothing here, so you're gonna hit the green button to add a new one. And this is the stuff you wanna put in. Uh, the interface will be on the LAN network, so the local area network, with IPv4. The protocol is UDP. The source will be from the LAN, address so anything on the local to any port okay the destination will be sent to this will be sent to the sense sensor let me just um, okay so anything the destination will be sent over to uh the firewall configuration which is this IP address. And then the destination port will be syslog. And then the data from here gets sent to the firewall. Firewall is going to get it and it's going to send it over to your server. So it goes from here into the firewall configuration and out to the server, the green screen over here on the left which is the IP of 10.2.60 or whichever one is yours. Make sure you choose single host. And the redirect port is syslog, which is the 514 um, port. And then everything that you can leave it and you can save, apply changes. So now we have our port forwarding the data over to the syslog. Uh, to the syslog over to the OSSIM server. There's still one more thing we got to do is to choose that data to allow it. Uh, we're going to go to status, go to system logs, and we're going to go over to settings. And PSN sends the formats in a BSD format. Go ahead and leave that. Um, you can leave all this. Most important thing is go down to the bottom here and you're going to enable remote log. You won't see that until you check it. So anything on the LAN with IPv4 will send it to the server with the port number. So send to the server. 10.0.2.60 with the port number was 514. I went ahead and sent everything. And once you kind of get that done, go ahead and hit save. Now, once this is 
configure. Let's go back, run through this. First, we set up our interface. So we have both interface on the uh, firewall. Went over, create the rules for your WAN to be able to go to the internet. And also your local, which is able to connect to your WAN, uh, to your firewall and allow it to go out to the internet. So if you don't get these set up, it will lock you out of this. It will lock you out of this firewall configuration unless you're on the same IP network, which is the 10.0.2. So this Kali Linux, I mean, this Ubuntu machine over here is on a different network as, as our, um, network diagram. So it is on the LAN. It's going out through here. So we can test another one, which is do the Windows server. And guys, you gotta have enough, a powerful enough computer to run all this. Right currently, right now I'm running one, two, three, four, five, uh, and six uh, virtual machines. So if yours is freezing or anything like that, you don't have enough hardware sources to provide to run that much. So if it's slowing down, you can just shut down one of your other virtual machines to allow that resource. So here we can do, um, we just do a search cyber security. So we're able to go to the internet. We're able to log, um, just check the internet as regular. So we're good there. Now we're gonna go into our server. And again, our server, if we look at the setting or not, if you just look right here, it's on the internal network LAN one. So now we're going to log into our ser uh, server and we want to make sure that we're able to go to the internet. Um, you can open a web browser if you want. This. Okay, so we're just gonna go google.com. And you see if we're able to go to the internet. Uh, and then if we do a search for a CMD, command prompt. See if I can make this. Properties. Uh, no. We're going to do fonts. We get 38. So if we do IP config, our IP address is 10.0.3.12. And if we wanted to do a test, uh, we'll go back to the Kali here. And on the internal host here, if we can just disable this and then hit apply changes, we go back to the Windows server again. And let's just refresh Google. The, um, the Yahoo. Where's our PF sense? No, no, not here. Sorry, here. So, that's a syslog setting. So, we also need to turn off this one here. 
apply changes, go back to the server, Just here, do Yahoo again. I think, um, so when, turn those off, UDP, UDP address, this syslog, go to when, and if we turn off the internal host here, disable that, and disable this, hit apply changes, go back to the server, Uh, we're going to google.com right now. It probably took a second, but we are now just turning off the internet access to all internal network. So all of this down here are getting stopped to not have internet access. Let's just go ahead and verify and make sure that's working. Let me go back to the CMD here. If we do just ping google.com, and it's going to stall because uh, it can't go to the internet. Okay. There's no internet because we turn off all the firewall, firewall rules to not allow anything to go out. If we open up the uh, Ubuntu here and we can just ping Google too. It's frozen. So we open Firefox and go to google.com and you see how it's stalling um, because we turn off all the internet network here. But what we could do is still talk to the other uh, Windows server here. So in the Windows server, in the command prompt, the IP address is 10.0.312. If we go to here and we ping 10.0.312, which is the uh, Windows server, it's going to allow, it won't allow it because uh, Windows Defender, uh, but we ping this one over, we, we ping the Linux one. So this IP address is 10.3.0. 10.0.310, so we can 10.0.310. Uh, see, we're able to get data, so these computers can still communicate each other on the local. So they can still talk to each other in this uh, local LAN one, but it just can't go to the internet. So to go back into the firewall, we are going to turn these back on. All right, one second. Kind of slowing down a little bit. All right, so this is what happens when you turn off all network. Uh, it's slowing down because on the WAN and also the LAN, I turn off everything so nothing is going out. Um, it's not going to work because I turn everything all off. Um, so now the Windows server is going to work to connect with anything on that network. But I also shut off any access to this uh, PFSense firewall configuration too. So it's not going to work. It's going to throw an error. And as you can see, it timed out to the firewall configuration because we turn off all connections. Uh, in this case, 
got to fix this. So there's a few things that we can do. Um, so anything that gets uh, adjusted in the uh, GUI for the firewall configuration, we can go into the shell, which is number eight. So we do eight and we're gonna CD into config. Uh, I hit tab, we're gonna hit enter and we're gonna list. And there's the config and it uses bi. So you see we do sudo app install vim. Nope. App install vim. Okay, so we have to use vi. So vi config.xml. And this is all the configuration. If you scroll down with the arrows, uh, this is all the network can set up. You see where it says like the WAN is enable here and enable. So we need to go down to the rules. So this here's the LAN, it's enable uh, DHCP. Okay, keep going. Here's the username, it's created. Uh, that got uh, disabled, the username got disabled, uh, username, I read this stuff on the left hand, that's username, it's, I know this might be a little too small, but you'll see on yours, I can't make this bigger, Let's see, Let's see, we can view on a scale, Okay, so scalable here. So you can see the rules are here. This is for username. We're going to go down, keep going. So this is, so it's the username, rules, interface, protocol. And you see where it starts talking about like the IP address 260, address port. And now this is the like the NT tables. So I'm gonna scroll through this. So Sarkata. And that ends it here. So it was those, so we're gonna go back up till we see the username. I think that's where uh, the configuration. So right where start doing disabled, this update. This one's disabled. So there's the IPv6. Okay, so, and syslog. Okay, so here's the unit here. And we're gonna do I to insert. Okay, so go ahead, escape, go ahead, I to this to do insert and we'll type in able. See here.
I will click U to undo. So we're just going to semicolon, quit. So we want to just quit while modifying. Uh, we're going to do VI config again. Scroll down. So we see those. Okay, so this one is the first one. We're going to hit I. and type able and we're going to go here hit i again you see the i you can then type enable and then Enable. Then I'm going to delete. Thing here. And then we'll scroll down. The other rules here. This one here too. Enable. Okay, and then we can go down some more. This just this one here too. I go over to the next one because somehow it capitalizes the the letter. So and if there's any more. I think that should do it. Rules disable firewall rule. Okay, so once we get those adjusted, this is the end. Go ahead, gate, colon, right quit with the exclamation point. And then it got updated. Now let's go back to Cali and see if we can get back in. Okay, so that didn't work, but there's also something that we can do here is PF capital S S H dot P A P playback enable allow all when so allow all rules 
on the WAN. Is it hit refresh? There you go. So now we're all back. We are going to go back to rules. So it enable all the WAN, go back to the LAN. So all that's enabled. And we're going to go ahead and log into our Linux again. And let's just do Google again. There you go. We're able to go to the internet. So remember this one, PFSH, H, uh, PF, have S. HSH.php playback enable allow enable allow all WAN. So when doing that, it enables all this over again to allow us to uh, enter again. So to to do that again, we're gonna go ahead and shut off the WAN, and we're gonna shut off all access to the LAN. And we're going to apply changes. Give it a second. It's going to take a bit for all the firewall to turn off all the rules. And uh, if you get timed out, locked out, again, you're going to go over to yeah, since right over here. And I'm going to exit this. So what you want to do is go to the shell, which is number eight. And you want to type in ps, capital S, small s, dot php, playback. Just see if we can make this a little bit bigger, a little wider. Feel like uh enable all enable allow all when. So it turned all these back on. So we go back here. Refresh. Maps. A rule. All these should be turned back on. So I'm going to go ahead and just turn all these back on so I don't get locked out again. Like changes. The mat, we'll be able to mat, get the rules. All these are good. All these are good. So that's what you do to unlock yourself. You turn off all your firewall rules. Okay, so now moving on to this one right here. This is where we will send the log to OSSIM server. Oh, no, we already did that already. So system log, uh, we went up to server settings. Went down to the bottom, we enable. Okay, so to send, send the logs. 
case. So to send the log from pfSense, which is this now here, Uh, to send the logs to the server here. On the server, we are going to go to jailbreak, say yes. And inside here, we want to type in TCP dump. We'll do the internet of if zero, we want to verbal write to dev dot no. That's just a black uh, a data place that will just not save anything. We'll do source of the PS sense was ten dot zero dot two dot 30 and port 514 so right now it's listening list, listening to any data that's coming through so if we go to a virtual box here um and i'm um, sorry the settings here and we just click on anything like assignments you can see the dump has updated we went to firewall do rules the dump got two. We click on diagnostic arc table, it'll get another one. So meaning that the data is getting sent over to the server. So we are good at that point and this will end this part of the lab.